2019 was a career year for Darren Waller. The Raiders tight end became a household name with 90 catches and over 1,000 yards receiving. But just four years ago, Darren Waller was out of the NFL completely, suspended for violating the league's substance abuse policy. His story now is one of redemption. And while this current self-quarantine has most athletes in a foreign territory, it's an all-too-familiar setting for the now 27-year-old. A time like this kind of reinforces the uh, like the spiritual, it's like the mental foundation of recovery. Um, so that's why it gives me a lot of time for that, a lot of time meditating, a lot of time praying, a lot of time um, you know, listening to speaking, speaker recordings from different meetings across the world. Entering his fifth year in the league, Darren Waller has made a habit of being open, not just on the field, but on his road of recovery. You know, I was a kid, I was growing up, that was didn't really feel like I fit in anywhere I went, you know, whether it was with athletes, you know, whether it was with uh, kids like in advanced classes, or just like everywhere I went, I didn't feel like I fit in. And I was just looking for anything I could to, you know, ease that pain, ease that anxiety for me, and that was drugs for me. After being forced out to sit out the 2016 season, Waller found out self-quarantine can also mean self-improvement. You know, just being in one place, I can make pretty good use of it. So um, it's a lot of music being done. Um, still working out a little bit, um, but a lot of reading, watching movies. So I can, I can be all right in a space like this because I've kind of had to navigate it before. So Waller understands the current situation can be overwhelming for most, but hopes that while we all wait out this pandemic, some can use it to create something positive. You know, there's value in stopping. There's value in slowing down. And, uh, you know, taking into account, like, how you're feeling, how you're thinking, you know, just what's going on in your body. Like, because we don't think we don't think about that until we crash and burn. And then it's like, you know, stopping and reevaluating things for the best thing that ever happened to me. So I feel like that could be very, very valuable for a lot of people. Now, Waller tells me he's in the process of moving to Las Vegas, but the coronavirus has put a hold to some of his relocation plans. He says he can't wait to be a part of the community. The Raiders tight end signed a three-year contract extension last fall that keeps him in Vegas through 2023. That's the latest with the Raiders. Vince Sapienza, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas.